What's up guys? What is going on? It's me, Frost with Fire, and today guys we're back here for another episode on the Cherry Patch server. Uh, this is going to be episode 2, High Skeleton Hiding Behind You. I see you, you're dead now. Oh. Okay, so there's probably a spawner here in the last episode, I don't, I don't know. There might be a huge skelly spawner somewhere, and hopefully I'll, I'll find out what it is. Uh, no, it's just, it's just the server's out to kill me again. I'm a life in this in Terry Patch anymore. Rip in peace. But yeah, so, um... Today I'm gonna kind of rant about some stuff. Uh, so, yeah. I know you guys know CG. I did a lot of t trade rounds on the CG servers. So, let's get started. So basically, yeah, that's gonna be done now. I'll most likely be on my friend's server if I do TTT. Uh, thing is, is that, um, basically, to, to, like, rewrite my whole revoke into a speech, or a rant, uh, basically, oh my lordy, but yeah, to, uh, anyways, so, to make my reason of leave to, uh, s you know, uh, sort of, s uh, rant. So, basically, to begin, uh, so, like, you know, I've been on that server for over a year, and dedicated a lot of time to the servers. So, I, you know, I, I did, I helped a lot, and I, re I mean, I really helped a lot, I was a favorite admin there, or well, favorite staff slash advisor. Uh, well, advisor was a the position was renamed to, but uh, yeah, I was very high ranked, not manager ranked, but I was this, the third to high rank, and I worked for it pretty, you know, a lot, a lot, and anyways, I worked for it, and you know, I got it, because you know, the owner knew I could take care of it. He knew I wasn't gonna like, oh hey, I'm just gonna abuse now, but you know, you know, the same old, same old, but. Uh, I started, I started my staff slash advisor position, we're just gonna call it advisor now since it's that, uh, position, you know, in September, when this, I was accepted, and I still remember that day, I was in third period, and I was on my phone, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna see if I got denied, because I was thinking I was gonna get denied, and stuff, but no, I was, I ended up being accepted to the position, and I was in that position for, what, about, um, six to seven months. A lot of time. Anyways, um, so I, the, you know, the administration began to change a lot when this year began. We had a lot of new people coming in, and, you know, the owner was making, in my opinion, bad decisions with a few admins coming in. Uh, and... To this point, uh, at at this point in time, I don't know if you guys play Jer Gary's mod a lot. I almost said Jerry's mod, but Gary's mod a lot. You'll know what a Vanek is, but to say it in Gary mod Gary's mod terms for servers, it's a lot like you know, it's turning into a Vanek. A Vanek actually got their crap together and fixed things, but yeah, it's basically turning into a Vanek. It's taking a Vanek's old place, is how I like to say it, but. I mean, I, that's just the cold hard truth. We got a lot of crappy admins in there and stuff. So, you know, I try to start straightening out the administration. And, yeah, well, that didn't turn out very well because I had, a you know, a certain group uh, that literally is out to kill me. Uh, they hated me because I stopped them from doing what they wanted and things. Or just think of them as, you know, the bullies, the scum. No, they were the scum of CG. And I've ranted about them before. And, yeah, so they wanted me gone. And we had a couple admins in there, uh, in the administration there. They were in the cocaine squad. And, yeah, so it began with backlashing. I was in the bad end of the stick because I'm pretty sure the cocaine squad started pushing rumors around me because I was getting messages from a couple admins saying, you know, uh, you know, pretty, pretty rude stuff was being said behind my back. I'm, I can't even say it because you know, it was pretty, you know, that bad that, you know, I'd have to probably make this video 18 plus. And I'm, you know, I'm just not going to bother myself and say it. So, 
things like that were being said. Very vulgar, very rude things were being said. And so, I mean, I pushed it off. I'm like, whatever. I've heard worse in school. So I just, you know, continue on. And uh, what really began to happen is that now one of the, the, the leader, quote to quote, the uh, leader of the whole cocaine squad was an old friend of mine. And they found a one of my personal accounts, like, you know, with Facebook. And they had planned to basically spread it around CG. Uh, I really, because, you know, my face was hitting on everything. You know, they wanted to see how it looked like. A lot of people wanted to see, but, you know, I kept myself hidden uh, for my own personal reasons. So, yeah, they got my link, and, you know, thanks to somebody, you know, who came up and told me that, you know, they have my link and, you know, they're starting to spread it or well, amongst themselves, thank God, but, oh gosh, yeah, but amongst themselves, they started to spread it, and their plan was initially just to spread it throughout uh, CG, and, you know, that would have been really bad for me because, you know, I don't want people knowing how I look like and stuff, and there was reasons for it, too. And so, you know, it got to that point, so I'm like, alright. And I had the owner, you know, I had the owner intervene, I'm like, alright, you know, I said, Dan, I don't like what they're doing. They have my, they have, they're basically doxing me. Uh, they're, they're planned to, well, they plan to dox me, which is basically to spread my uh, personal info without permission, spread my, per yeah, without permission, and spread it massively to other people. Oh, that's where Castle's gonna be building something. But yeah, so yeah, they basically planned to dox me, and the owner said, "All right, well, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll tell them something." And he ended up telling them something because uh, he said, "You know, all right, so you guys can, if you guys go out and just spread out his, you know, Facebook link, you're going to be permanently banned." So that thankfully stopped them. And, yep, yeah, they didn't go out and do that, because they knew they would be p -band. So, as that was happening, um, they really got mad at me. Um, and, so, I was like, alright, I really don't care. So, yeah, they really got mad at me then, and that was one of the reasons why they don't, you know, they want me gone. But, uh... Let's see, what else happened? I'm trying to remember. Okay, so what else I said in my, um, for my leave was the server, you know, it changed. Because, you know, top of it, there was admins backlashing me, giving me the bad end of the stick. And then I'm talking to the owner, and I'm like, hey, dude, you know, we need to start getting rid of these administration members who are just not doing their job well. And he's like, no, it's a bad idea. I'm like, why is it a bad idea? I mean, I did that on the old server I used to be an admin manager on, and, you know, we, yeah, we did fall behind staff for a while, but there's report a player for a reason, and there's logs that a couple, we had select people to check, but, and he's too lazy to check logs, but, you know, we have a report system for a reason, so, and that will just encourage people to use it, but he's like, nope, nope, we're gonna keep them. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So, um, the thing is with the cocaine squad, they were, like, they just started screwing up. Like, they, they basically showed how scummy they were on CG. And the owner, you know, finally said something about it after a huge, you know, somebody finally made hacks, has to make a deal out of it. And they made a deal out of it. And so basically, they made a deal out of it. And voila, problems. Uh, they started to. Uh, they st they actually stopped. The, all the owner said was like, "Oh, if you know, you guys really need to stop with your crap." Blah blah blah. When you know my friend and his servers, he permanently banned them. He permanently banned a few because they came on his server and you know hardcore hardcore trolled him, you know, on the server. So. He had the reason that, but he doesn't want, he doesn't trust any of the Cocaine Squad members, and he's just banning them all from the servers, so there's more and more join. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm trying to recall some of the reasons why I quit. Uh, and, oh yeah, uh, 
Let's see, I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else. You know, I'm actually going to look it up. But yeah, so... Oh, a lot of crappy, you know, admins being picked slash picked right now. And, you know, there was a few people who came in and they were accepted as mod. Um, so I'm like, why? You know, I'm already going to tell. I already know who these people are going to favor, you know, favor. Which is meaning, like, they're going to mic spam and the mod's going to be like, oh, it's fine. He's my friend. And that's favoritism. And, yeah, that's something, you know... Again, I it's, it's, it just like the thing is when they uh, when it, people were just being accepted bad. They're just people who shouldn't be it. And the reasoning behind it, you know, it's to what would make sense is because we have a lack of admins. And so I decided, all right, fine, whatever. So a little, a little more time passes and you know, more and more are finally, you know, being accepted, so I'm like, okay, as time passes, I'm like, you know, there, I'm trying to control these people, I'm like saying, you can't do that, you gotta do this, and then they make the same mistake two weeks later, and they repeat it, I expect, okay, once, alright, one mistake is okay, but they kept on repeating the same mistake, and it just became abuse at this point, and I'm like, alright, so, again, continued, 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 you know, I wanted did nothing, and I'm like, okay, well, uh, you know, you know, things like that, uh, and then finally, I was like, alright guys, I'm done, I'm not gonna take, take this anymore, uh, and after my friend who encouraged me to, you know, quit, uh, cause I really, I didn't want to, because, you know, the thing is, it was like, you know, when you're on a server, on a specific community for over a year, for an over a year, you get attached to it, you know, cause you, especially if you work for your position, and it hurts to leave, and it kinda did hurt to leave, uh, I kind of did hurt. No, it hurt to leave. Because, you know, I, re I look at the old days, I'm like, what has this become? And it literally has become a horrible server. Like, server-wise, game modes and all that were perfect, but community was terrible. And, I mean, the owner could have done so much better with with controlling it. And he was too lazy. He was too busy and he didn't let, you know, me with my judgment take care of it. Because he, he felt like I was too harsh. Him and the manager felt like I'm too harsh at punishments or I'm being too strict. If I was being too strict, a lot of people would not have liked me. And it, it was quite that way in the beginning because I was a bit strict. But, you know, I, I, I joined the people. I mean, as long as they're not breaking the rules, I'm not, you know, it's not like I'm going to have a problem with you. And... You know, I, I was, I was, like, a lot of people liked me. Of course, I had the people who hated me because, you know, I did my job and they, you know, go out lying. And I did put up through a lot of crap, but, you know, I just, I already have enough stress going on in my life with personal things. And I'm just like, okay, I can't take this. I'm not going to do it anymore. Uh, and, you know, it now this is an administration, administration of 50 members now, but... It used to be 60 or 70, and I had no control over it, along with the other staff member. We had no control over it. You know, manager had no control over it, nor did they most likely didn't care, nor did the owner, because reasons. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I ended up handling an administration that went over two, uh, up to 200 or over 200 members. Okay, and I handled that, and it was a top-notch administration. You know, yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, it was very strict. Uh, but you know, it. You know, it was very strict. Yeah, but why? I mean, that's how you get people to act correctly. That's how you get a perfect administration. I mean, it's not like everybody disliked each other. No, we had uh, the administration was really close. It was a close knit administration. You know, we got very, very, very freely when it talked about, like in the Skype chat, like, you know, uh, over 18 stuff. <laughs> no pictures, thankfully, at least to my knowledge. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we got really, it was a really close-knit administration community, for, you know, within the administration. More. So, and the community was, I mean, it's not some, you know, community was stuff, but, you know. The, com the actual community itself, you know, the people who went to the forums and stuff, that was a real community, so, I mean, that, like, they were nice. Of course, you had the jerks, but you always have jerks in every community, almost every community. 
and then yeah, I, I pretty much it, it really depends, but yeah. Uh, so I mean, I kept 200 people straight. Uh, of course, it didn't. I think it went down to 150 because uh, a lot of people were leaving. So yeah, uh, people left, and I was like, okay, that's fine. And we already had enough to take care of. And then the server broke up after you know after a couple of years, and it, it was it was all chaos. But you know. Either way, the point is, I, 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 I kept with a 200 members, okay, and 60 members would have been nothing, but a lot of revokes would have went in, and I even said that myself, I'm like, you know, if Dan ever made me an administration manager, a lot of people are going to be fired, <laughs> like, that's how bad the administration is, they're going to be fired, and I don't care how long you've been there, but you're abusing, I'm not going to tolerate it. I'm gonna. They already got their warnings, and if you, I give. I give warnings. It's not like I'm saying, oh, you abuse once, mm, you're fired. No, you, I give warnings, and it depends on the level of abuse. If you ban everybody permanently, there's no warning there. You're gonna get banned perma and gone. But yeah, didn't get control of that, and you know the whole administration is crazy. People complaining about it. I've actually gone on myself and. They seem okay, but you know, they know me and they know I have a mouth to tell. I will still report and, you know, tell things, but yeah. Even even though I'm a player, people still, you know, they're like, oh god, Frost is on me, you know, act straight. Especially with the troublemakers. Uh, but, yeah, and then, uh, it's, it's, it's been a long time with that community, but, you know, it's whatever. It's like... You know, I'm I'm over it. I'm in a new community. I'm playing CS:GO. I'm playing, and I, I'm actually coming more Minecraft since I've left. But yeah, I, this is the community more I actually care about. So uh, this community has been here, and they in this community, this cherry patch does hold a very special place in my heart because a lot of things were happening when I joined, and it helped me get through them. Uh, it was it was nice, but you know, no more. Uh, it's, it's Cherry Patch is really my core community, and it's gonna always be my core community. So yeah, but that's all I'm gonna rant about in the, today's episode because I gotta get some stuff prepped up. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe to become a Crossfire today and join the Crossfire Army. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.